Hello, thank you for purchasing a master top. Today we are going to look at the installation process for Bimini tops on all JL Wranglers and Gladiators. We are going to start by installing the front side straps. This will help to keep the top in place as we move on to the next steps. Next, we will install the front corner straps. You will need to run your fingers over the strap in order to get them into shape so that they can thread between the trim and the roll bar. The strap will drop in into the interior of the vehicle and you can wrap the strap to the buckle in the front corner of the bimini top. Practice a proper buckling technique by looping the strap through the back hole of the buckle and then up through the front. Next, we will look at how to install the four front straps. First, you will need to remove the buckle from each one of the straps. Hold on to these as they will be important later. Again, you will need to thread the strap through between the windshield and the body of the vehicle. There is a small gap and running your fingers over the strap will help the strap to curl downward to enter the vehicle more smoothly. You will need to make sure that the innermost straps are within the sun visor mount. Next, we are going to take these straps and loop them back through the front header trim of the vehicle and underneath the freedom panel locator. Again, you will need to curl the strap so that it can wrap around the trim and sit underneath the freedom panel locator. Please make sure that your center strap is within the sun visor mount. We will then reattach the buckles to each strap. The buckle with the short loop is going to go on the exterior strap, and the buckle with the long loop will attach to the innermost strap. Once we have the buckles attached, we can wrap them around the very top of the freedom panel locator mount. You will need to do this with all four straps to ensure a proper seal between your top and the vehicle. You'll need to make these as tight as possible and then you can wrap the loose ends in around the buckle. You will need to tighten all of your straps at this point to help ensure a tight seal between the bimini and your vehicle. As you go through the installation process, we recommend that you tuck the loose ends of the strap back within themselves. Next, we will attach the D-rings to the sound bar. You will need to unvelcro the D-rings from the top of the bimini. You will need your Torx T25 screwdriver to unscrew the screw from the sound bar. You will then put the screw through the hole at the back of the strap of the D-ring and reattach it to your vehicle. Next, we will need to install the B-pillar straps. Locate the long strap hanging in front of the B-pillar, wrap it around the pillar to the buckle at the back corners of the bimini. Next, we will attach the rear center straps. Take the center straps hanging from the back of the bimini and loop them around the sound bar and attach them to the buckle. At this point, we can reattach the Velcro to the D-ring. Lastly, we will look at how to attach the rear corner straps. You will need to unbuckle the attachment from the strap you will need to remove the screw from the top of the roll bar with your Torx T25 bit. Reattach the screw similarly to how we did with the D-ring. Then you will take our remaining strap, wrap it around the roll bar and through the buckle. Again, making sure that all of these back straps are very tightly secured.
Congratulations, you have completed the installation for your Bimini top. Thank you for purchasing a master top, and we hope you enjoy.